fucking day we got out there. I feel like it's sunny and nice. Sit down with gingerbread. Sit down with coffee. Ooh, it is nice today. Ooh. That's what it feels like to be thrown in the trash. Alright, I got some interesting things in the mail. I got some uh, reserve clips. Um, the other one, the actual one, is in. This goes in the console. Um, if you replace the one that I. Well, hold on. Alright, so this guy. Um, this is where I had my cop horn. Uh, so, I basically had to cut this entire thing down and um, do a little square in there to be able to get the rocker switch in there which basically kind of sat in like this this is another one of the a different kind that I got to try out but I think I like this one a lot better um, the guy conveniently hid how it was like melted and like you know I took a chunk out of it he had it up like this in the picture you know, so you couldn't tell it was fucked up. But this one's fine. Um, I'm not really worried about aesthetics on these. I'm gonna scuff these up and repaint it. If I remember correctly, it was black to begin with. Yeah. Or I might sand it down and heat it up and see if I can't get it back to its original. I don't think there's anything else in there. Get back to its original black. You can see the little clip things in there. Yes, sir. This is out of 94 Acura, I believe. Alright, so anyways, today is going to be um, a continuation from my last video, oddly enough. I'm going to try and see what kind of soundproofing I can get done. Um, before I start that, I do kind of want to deal with wiring for the speakers. Get that taken care of. Um, probably pull the headliner. And this guy can get it ready for soundproofing as well. Um, yeah. So right now I'm going to get my bearings. And uh, figure out where I'm at and get some tunes going. Alright, I got a little cleaned up in here. Got some uh, organizing taken care of. Got a bunch of stuff taken care of back in there. As far as pulling boxes out. Pulled like a my skill saw box out. That big fucker. It goes all the way this way. And broke down all the styrofoam that was in there. I gotta figure out how to slowly get rid of that. Got these guys off the shelf and put some random st floating stuff up there. Um, but yeah, I'm just getting started on the uh, wiring of the speakers here. And it looks like they're gonna be closing off the road for something. Broke out my amplifier manual. And I heard a lot of shit about these. Um, Especially after I bought it and I was really worried about it um, This thing is giving me no troubles whatsoever um, Except for at first when I had like double the power going to it that I didn't need <laughs> so it reminds me I need to clip that um, I've had no problems with these guys this uh, particular one um, I don't listen to my music very loud, but when I do it handles it just fine. There is a little dip in the uh, car power, but um, nothing major so anyways I just got this guy uh, wrapped up for the right front I'm gonna loosen these tie downs and move the battery over a little bit um, as you can see this guy's holding it in place and there's another one over here and you can't see it's holding it in place but it's there um, I could just take this thing out but then it'd just be sitting on the floor uh, I was looking in here I'm gonna redo this uh, backup wire backup lighting wire but in here, it's about as far as I can get it off, really. I'm going to do soundproofing on all of this stuff. Because obviously, I ain't, you know, a bunch of rattling. Nothing going on in there except for a vent. So I'm going to get that vacuumed out nice and good. And then get to painting. It's weird that they painted the inside of this red. Or is that me? Did I do that? I think I might have done that. Rust inhibitor or something? Yeah. Yeah, I can see where I stopped painting it right there. 
that's what that was. There's a rust inhibitor that I put on before I put down the bed liner, which is down under there. Which you'll have to watch an older video if you want to see that. But this guy I cut out, and that fits in this little dude perfectly. So that will keep my speaker from wrapping back and forth. Um, it didn't really do that before very much, but that cut it down most of the way, but it still had a little bit of rattle. But I do have an earthquake strap on here that clips into the back of the amp right there to keep it from fully tipping over by any means but because it is on a little bit of a rise and you can see I got padding down there big rubber soft rubber padding for it to sit on uh, keep it flush and just slightly above the rib here so that's that so I'm just going to keep on working on this uh, keep on running these wires um, now that I got the first one done I can go up front and figure out the lengths I'm going to need um Probably won't be doing that yet. Probably just leave it as is. Because I still have to decide whether or not I'm, how I'm going to run this to the speaker. So I've got that. Basically, I've got everything I need. I just need to start working on it. God, i got to quit doing that. Luckily, these wires are pretty heavy duty. So, All right, back at it. I got all these guys on here, nice and good and tight. Um, this is for the subwoofer. It is bridged, as you can see. Going on there, and that is for four to eight ohms. So I'm gonna switch mine from two to four ohms. Um, yeah, should be good and set on that one. Um, before I put this guy back in and figure that out, I'm gonna do the soundproofing on the inside here. And with the other wires, um, basically the only ones I can really do are the back ones. So I'm going to go ahead and knock those guys out. <sighs> I forgot I had this little thing. Cut enough wire to run it all the way through and in. But um, since I got it, I'm going to use it. And then I'm uh, just going to pull this guy out. Pull this off here. Well, that was awful nice of me to solder those on there. I don't know what I was thinking. Especially with the super cheap, super thin little wire. I did the same thing over here. I was able to scrape that off. I guess I'm gonna have to do that to this one too. Good good. I was thinking I had two of these for some reason. See something came off in there. Alright. So I got these guys, two smalls, one larger, and one smaller for here, but this thing takes two smalls. So I got those on there. Nice and cramped. I'm gonna trim the inside wire a little bit. And I've got these uh, uh, marine heat shrinks here. Um, I'm gonna slide one of these guys on each one of them. Maybe a half of one or something. Find an appropriate size and get these uh, waterproof a little bit. Now that I've gone to the lengths of putting 14 gauge speaker wire on this, might as well waterproof it. I got some of these little, uh, things on there now that's completely out of focus yeah Put those on there and slide that top one on a little bit more but kind of orientated right and I'm gonna shrink wrap them with said heat gun all right got these guys on there ah oh, these are nice it's a dual wall three to one shrinkage with adhesive um, once I get it on there and it's nice and hot I like to go in there and squeeze it down make sure plenty of adhesive gets out around the edges and then also on this little lump right there in between the levels. I've got this wire here all set up ready to go. I wasn't paying attention and I, to what side I put the power on or the big one or positive the big one the power the positive two um, so internally the black one goes to is positive and the red one is negative but externally <clears throat> positive as you can see, it's switched. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy back on there. <clears throat> and that should be that for... Well, I'll figure out where I'm going to put these. Uh, I put those back on there. One was here. And then one was here. So I'm either going to try and get them back in that hole. Or um, find new holes for them. Or just take them off. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, subwoofer is good to go. Already wired, ready to get thrown back in there. 
This is like adhesive, spray adhesive and sawdust on this. It smells, it smells like China. It smells like China. Yeah, it's just a bunch of sawdust in there. Um, yep, so I'm gonna take this dude and put this guy back on here. Like such. Dust it off, throw it back in the car. Okay, well not throw it back in the car, but uh, set it aside as ready to be replaced. Replaced. Alright, it's all ready and ready to go back in. I guess you're wondering what the back looks like. I didn't double stain that one like I stained the front. So, yeah. I had to move my little setup outside here. Um, since everything's already attached. I got my rear right one all done up here. Um, I have these little spacers because the trunk, when you open it or close it, has these scissors in there that kind of raise it and lower it. And that causes the speaker, it, these are too deep. Um, so it causes it to bump up and bump down and they end up at weird angles. So I got these 3D printed spacers off of eBay's. And I've been meaning to throw some of this foam tape on there. So I just did a couple spots of foam tape. I wonder why that left a white mark. It probably wasn't that. Um, just a little foam on there. Keep it under there. Um, keep the metal to plastic noise down. Plus it'll keep it, it'll raise it just a little bit more as well. So, But I'm not going to be putting that back in until I pull this back back uh, panel thing here pull that off and then uh, soundproof it or sound dampener dampener it not soundproof it but once a bit of time um, now it's time to wire the other one I reckon I pulled the other speaker got some foam on that one um, finished up got my rear right my subwoofer which I put two little prongs on there test fit them and they clip in here perfectly so those guys get little prongs and then of course the rear right um, so these guys are good I'm gonna throw some soundproofing in here so I can start uh, putting the subwoofer back in and whatnot Kind of as good as I can get. I could throw a little more up there, but I'm not too worried about that right now. Um, I throw a little down here, wrap it around, come around down here, and I'll think about the back. I'll probably do the back just because it is crazy, but for a little before and after. Stupid fucking diesel turbo truck drives by like 50,000 times a day. Does the guy have a fucking job? Night and fucking day. Sounds way better than some shitty diesel turbo. Alright, I think I got that. About as good as I want to get it. Nothing uh, grossly underrepresented here, so you know, doing good enough. Uh, I wasn't even sure I was gonna do this, but since I'm doing doors, why the hell not? That is thuddy. Yeah, right there. That's the sweet spot. Yep. So, uh, yeah, Amazon Basics. This shit is awesome. Uh, now I'm gonna put this back together and get my subwoofer in there.
Yeah, buddy. Gonna get just as much enough done as to where I could put the top back on this guy. I don't know if it really did anything, but fuck it. It did something in my head, so at least I know I managed to pull off that whole thing in like two pieces. Uh, the sun tent, that is. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, I'm gonna get the stereo shit put back together. Alright, so we got everything back in there. Looking good, everything clipped down. Um, those are sealed off now. What is that guy yelling about? You're doing sweet jumps, bro. Do jump, bro. That's a weird looking scooter. Anyways, I got all that crap done. Got this side done, so I'm done there, all the way up there, and the whole firewall. And I've got a pack and about a half. I got five, four and a half sheets left out of, I think, 10, 15 in a bag, something like that. I can't remember anymore. But you can see where I started there. Um, I'm gonna take a break and then pull this thing down and then get started working on the roof, working my way back. Or actually, no, I want to get this done so I can start putting shit back together. So I want to get the fucking floor in. So I'm going to uh, put a couple things back real quick and uh, start the floor. All right, so I got more, more put together here. Um, and then I was about to fold this up and I was like, oh man, I might as well throw some right there. If I can get this without closing it all the way, you can see where it comes out there. I'm gonna throw another piece over there and get working on the uh, rear set house. Yeah. All right, got quite a bit of this done. It's all the way up and under. It's as far as I got that way. Down over the fold, quite a bit of it. So it's pretty much the point where I'm just like straight, smooth sailing right across. Get that crap up here, and then uh, start hammering it out. Um, what I do still have to do is, when I was putting um, some stuff up on that side, basically like right here, but on the inside, I realized it was pretty easy to get to the, I was struggling, I was digging through, and then I didn't even stop and think, this is already tucked back into its little lock spot there, but, um, yeah, <laughs> woofta. Still pretty hollowish, but it's really getting there. I mean, wow. All right, I got everything uh, shoved over there and uh, ready to go. So now I'm just gonna start throwing this down on the fucking floor. <laughs> That's pretty gay. It's starting to get pretty dark out. I'm entirely sure it's 7.30. So I'm coming up on, let's see, what time did I get down here? 10.30, 11. So eight and a half hours, nine hours, something like that. Oh, I've got a shit ton done. Got a shit ton done. I still have one whole thing left. Half a case. So I have no doubts that I'll be able to finish the floor. So I've got one package, two package, um, three,
package. So I'm guessing that this is going to take, this side's going to take a box. If I think about a package each, nah, I think a package each side. So that's one box. The roof will be one more box. Um, I think the roof and this panel here will be fine with one more box. So I believe I need to order two more boxes to be done with these guys. Um, in the meantime, I will be able to finish the floor. I'm gonna be able to get the carpet back in. Um, debating on whether or not this is, oh, I can do that right now. Or wait until tomorrow, I don't know. I gotta run to the weed store at some point or another. I'm really looking forward to two buses there and two buses back. I could take one and walk three by. Anyways, <laughs> there is my at home NASA kit for right now. Nothing else has really changed other than what you've seen. I got the speakers are good. It's fucking awesome. I got that all taken care of. Looking good. I think I'm just gonna be in there. It's already. It's not 7:30, is it? Yeah, it is 7:30. God, I thought it was 1,700 hours. Because my, uh, all my shit's on military time. So, uh, I was pulling this out. Dad came down tonight and was talking to me about some project stuff and olden days and the snow. And I was showing him this. I got this out. I gotta scuff these guys up. I feel like I'm still missing a spring or something. I don't know. I have to figure this out. Uh... But yeah, I want to scuff these up and get these OEM pads on there. Been getting a lot of my OEM stuff. They're looking nice when it's ready. When it's ready. But I think I'm going to go take a shower. And hop a bus and go to the weed store. I think I forgot to mention. I um, just deleted the middle seatbelt. I think I've had one person in the back ever. And that was a child. Um, I've never had three people in the back. I don't think the suspension on this car could handle that. Honestly, I don't like one person in the car. <laughs> Let alone fucking five. Um, so yeah, I just got going ahead and got rid of this guy. Center. Yep. Alright, next day. I've been all over the city trying to get a bunch of errands done. And all I wanted to do was do this. <laughs> So now that I'm back, done doing all my fucking errands, being annoyed by millions of people on a beautiful Saturday. Everybody and their brothers out. Knew I should have got out early, early. But anyways, um, yeah. So I got one pack left. Let's see what I can do with this guy. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna start the ceiling. I was thinking about it last night and I'm going to redo the headliner because I have enough fabric to do it. There's nothing wrong with it with the exception of this guy. Um, I don't want that there anymore due to my TV. Plus I got to pull this down and redo it. Um, apparently the hot glue does not work as good as I had hoped. As well as it should. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be pulling this thing down and uh, redoing it up. Um, probably going to move this mirror farther up because it's really annoying right there. Um, it, it's funny how it actually looks like a, like a mirror. <laughs> it's not. It's just a TV screen that's off. But yeah, so now I'm going to get started on this guy. Or get finished on this guy.
Alright, I think I've got as far as I can get in here. Looks pretty darn good to me. It's fucking crazy is what it looks like. So, this is the only other part other than the roof or the doors that I still need to do. So I'm going to do my best to get this busted out. I don't think I'm going to be lucky like last time because this is here and on the other side it isn't. So, um, there's just a post here and then a post there. So I'm going to wedge it in there as best I can. See what I can do. Uh, this is going to be my big priority here. So that's all the farther I got in here. But I did get up in there. As far back there as I could get. A little bit up here. Uh, yeah, I think that's... Jesus. I think that's about as uh, good as I'm going to get in the blue apartment. I've totally forgot to finish off up there. But I've still got... Lots. I'm gonna get uh, two more boxes. I don't have to go over it again. What I need to do, I've said it like eight times. So, um, what I do want to do is get the shift plate in there and see what that looks like real quick. All right, that guy is looking pretty good. Nice crazy view for you. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of spacer dealy bob here. Looks like there's a pretty good gap, so I'll just figure out what that gap is and then go down the hardware and start throwing space in there. I might just have a washer or add a, add a nut or something in between. So, um, yeah. This is supposed to sink in, but obviously I added quite a bit to it. <laughs> so, um, I might see what I can do here, but I think I'd rather go with spacers than try and I might cut that out. Might cut it out. We'll see. Uh, by cut out, I mean cut out the trim around it, have it sink in there and be flush. It's probably a better idea, actually. And I took it out and looked at it. I'm gonna have to cut a lot more out in order to be able to do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna throw some spacers on there. <clears throat> I might go back and do that if. Uh, see what I'm. Might go back and do that if. Um, something comes up as to where I need to uh, be able to get the um, center console, I almost said shift console, get the center console in here and get the boot on here correctly. So I might give that a shot real quick. All right, so it's on there. Um, it doesn't like to fit very well. I can't really do it with two hands, but I may need to end up sawing a little bit more off of that and having that sucker just fit flush on there. I may have to do that. I don't want to deal with it later. Um, at least I know that thing kind of fits in there. I have a feeling with the carpet in there, it'll be raised up a little bit more and it won't matter as much, but as is, it's... Um, a little clunky and a little funky. I mean, I, no, it's not this thing. I still have to clean this out really good and re-oil it and figure out what's best for it. Take it back apart before it's forever home. Not to mention I gotta clean these fucking things are dirty and uh, repaint them as well. Uh, interior paint day coming up. I gotta go figure out what kind of. Uh, Burgundy paint. I want. Shut these guys up. Shut up. Fucking repeat the same crap eight times a day. Worst public radio station ever. Anyways, so I'm gonna have a uh, interior paint day. You can see that's got quite the sheen to it. Kind of don't like that. Also, I never really liked the color of the uh, um, dashboard. Which is why I ended up getting that thing. So I'd like more of a dark wine burgundy as opposed to a thing, but 
for now I am done um, I got as far as I'm gonna get on the speaker wires um, until I figure out what I want to do as far as interior wiring I was looking at 20 20 pin connectors much like the one I got which is now in my electrical case but um, just like that but 20 pins I may have one laying around something like this that I can use uh, but then again I might not even do might not even deal with it I might just uh, leave it as is take the old radio tie it to the new one pull it through kind of thing um, yeah anyway I gotta figure out I mean it's not like it's all that hard it's all like right here you know I've got it all right here so unplug it and pull it out it's pretty accessible uh, yeah it would actually be nice to drill a hole through this fucking spot and run the light stuff through there but I feel as though it's a little too late for that kind of fuffing around huh I never noticed that before it's a little weep hole or something I'm not gonna be able to get into that soundproof that at all nope I mean I did the inside of it thought about doing the inside. I've seen a lot of guys doing the uh, inside of the fender well. And that scares the hell out of me. This shit weighs a lot. What if one of those comes crashing down? I don't think they make body clips that hold that much weight, so. I just found a little treasure. What is this little treasure doing in here? wonder what it is, but it's a crossword scratcher. Oh, let me see. Like a Wells Fargo debit card. Ooh. Wonder if it's a winner. Fame! Alright, it's the next day and it's very nice out. It's still a little cold, a little chilly, but whatever. I think today I want to concentrate on getting the wires tucked up in there. Um, probably get this one on the inside of this with the rest of these. <laughs> I don't know why it's on the outside, but it is. And uh, figure out my speaker cables, get those. Uh, I decided last night I'm not gonna mess with these. I can deal with that later at some point if I want to. Um, maybe in a week, I don't know, we'll see. But for right now, I kinda wanna get wiring cinched up and see where I can get with that. So I'm gonna get some tunes rolling and get that started. All right, I've achieved a milestone. My radio harness is done. So as you can see from the, uh, the big gray one here, that is the um, speakers, speaker output from the thing. Um, also on here I have, this is the radio to the dash harness power, radio itself, um, the backup camera is plugged in right here somewhere <laughs> uh, the two antennas are plugged in one sitting there one's hanging out up here somewhere there it is and uh, by the way these flat ones I've tried cheap ones I've tried expensive ones I've tried medium ones um, they all work exactly the same so don't spend 30 bucks on one if you can just buy one for an eight uh, yep so radio harness is done I have the power and then the uh, camera running back here. These two black and red, and this gray. And then my main power, I got cinched up here. I uh, trimmed it better, brought it right along the line of the fuel itself. So up next I gotta, I snipped this one, which is the power to the subwoofer, because I didn't know how much I need. And I figured I had 300 feet of it, so why not? Um, so I'm going to figure out where these need to be zip tied here along that line and then do that. I totally chose a random spot to cut this uh, red line in half. Um, kind of thought, oh, I'll cut it towards the back. And I just stretched it out and it seems like it's going to be the exact length I need. So while I have room, I'm going to go ahead and put a new tip on it over here. 
Alright, alright, got that on there. You can see the adhesive coming out the bottom. Good stuff, I like this stuff. Seems to be alright. Alright, I got that sucker. Running all the way down. Looking real nice and good here. Pay no attention to that noise. So as you can see, it goes up under the seat, under the pole there, behind the rear seat, or to the rear seat. I got just enough, I have a little bit of a loop left on that power. And then uh, everything comes back here, just perfect. I clipped it in just the perfect spot, but as for now, everything on this side of the car is wired in and looking pretty good, if you ask me. I even got the speaker cable run. Gave myself a little bit of play room here. But aside from that, um, yeah, this side of the car is done. <laughs> Yay! The villagers rejoice. All right, I did some organizational skills defying. So what we got going on here? So this will be for my fuse box under dash fuse box. And I got my blower motor, and I got my clock, my clock dash clock, etc. This is my windshield wiper motor, so it's going up and out. Um, over here, I got this mess, which is otherwise known as the main relay. It's funny you see all these wires, but I got six of them here. These are all going to get cut down and shortened. Um, aside from that, I got the starter and the distributor wire there. And it harnessed up, just threw some cloth tape on there. And again, I have the radio harness. So, looking pretty cleaned up with the exception of this, uh, this here main relay crap. Um, the exception of that, this harness is pretty much ready um, to see action again. So, yeah, something like this and that. I'm gonna hop over here. I still have to deal with all that wiring. I'm trying to figure out what all I need to do. Um, especially with all the extras. The extra wiring I've been putting in that I'm not putting on camera for security purposes. Um, there's quite a bit of it in here. Yeah, yeah. Plus I still gotta cut this little base plate out more. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to fucking mark it. Mark it and cut it out. Luckily, I got a Pika pin, which will be, be able to get me in there. So, all right. So you can kind of see what I got going on here. Um, managed to get all the wires tucked in on this side. One sec. Let me turn that on. Red Sox. Who likes the Red Sox? Oh, I like the Red Sox better than the Yankees. Anybody but the Yankees. So I taped up. This guy here, um, running to the door stuff. Um, I haven't zip tied this yet, just because I haven't had a chance to tuck that back in. I got the taping, ended up taping a whole bunch of junk. Oh, gotta get back to where I am. Uh, just for clarity reasons, I was doing a little bit on the sub harnesses here. This is just my lamp cable, so I don't worry about that then. All right, so I've got all the wiper, blinker, um, that kind of stuff, so in this Harper. This guy's for the ignition, I think. And then uh, this is the brake light. Didn't bother to touch that. Um, these are all the ones that I'm gonna need. VSS, um, brake switch, uh, reverse lights, that stuff. Uh, deal with that later. And I haven't touched any of this stuff really. Um, this relay lives here. And this stuff goes to the clutch and dash. I believe the only thing I need on here is the neutral safety switch. Uh, the rest of this stuff, I believe, is all um, for cruise control. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to have to look into that to find out for sure. But I wanted to move the neutral safety switch anyways to somewhere else in the car. So, um, because I'm tired of it breaking and having to dig it out in parking lots. It's never fun, but I continue to get to do it. So, yeah, 
Fucking yeah. Um, I did run the speaker cable for this door. So I'll get that tucked in there and wired up. Then I will have all of the speakers will be wired. The sound dampening is down. The harness is semi back to normal. As much as I can possibly get it to this point. Uh, the only other thing that's really keeping me is I do want to cut that out. Um, it is still currently a beautiful day. And relatively early. So I want to make sure... Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, my neighbor's gone, so I might pull this stuff up, turn this into a bigger hole, just basically go right, not even think about it, just do a big fucking hole right there. Do it once, get it done. But for now, I managed to get a, a lot farther than I thought I was going to get today. It's absolutely crazy. So I got almost all the cabin wiring done and all the soundproofing. I do want to take this guy off. For sure, I think I'll do that thing while the neighbor's gone. And then get this guy off. I've ordered one more box. Um, it'll be here in a couple of days. It is Sunday, Easter Sunday, because I love, I love working in my car on holidays. It's like totally my thing. Christmas, New Year's. Uh, Valentine's, uh, whatever else is in there. I didn't even realize that St. Patrick's Day came. It was like three days after it, and I realized that it had happened. It happens when you get old. So, yep, nice. Awesomeness. Awesomeness. A little messy, a little noisy, nothing too bad, didn't start no fires, put my flashlight under there but apparently it ran out of battery, oh. moment of truth, moment of truth, yep, definitely fits on there, that is a lot more flush. Damn it, is that not fitting on there? You're freaking curtain me. Gotta cut the inside of that lip. I had a feeling I had to do that. About an inch in on each side, I reckon. Yeah, this side's totally in. Obviously, I can't do that. So, in order to get to sit, I gotta trim that a little bit. Just a little bit. Cut the insides of those, both of those sides. All right, that is fully seated on there. That is down in there. You can see it. It's in there. It's uh, flush up front, flush up back. Minus the uh, padding there. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this mess up. All right, go ahead and. Um, put the foam back on, got it all lined up so that the bolt holes match up. Everything lined up. And it looks like it's sitting out there, but it ain't. Keep taking shit. It's rocking freely in there. And also, once these get bolted down, yonder in. Bolted down and yonder in. 
that thing will be ready. Um, like I said, I just kind of grabbed the pieces that I pulled off, folded them back over, grabbed some of the scraps and just kind of went around the edge with the exception of this edge. I'm going to try and steal a piece from somewhere else or something, I don't know. But uh, this guy, I'm going to take this thing apart and get it all cleaned out really good. And uh, see what kind of grease I got to throw in there. Got a little before going here. Just got a little bit of dirt tag. I'm going to hit it up with a bunch of brake clean and then a bunch of greasy grease. Alright, there is the after. You should get it nice and cleaned out. Looking purr to shiny. Purr to good. You can see it's hesitant to move now. So I'm going to get pull out my box of grease over there and see which I prefer to get it lubed up with here. Probably going to be engine assembly or super white. Probably super white, but... I don't know how old this stuff is. I'm going to have to shake it for a half hour. I got this thing back in there all together. Just thinking to myself about how the bottom of this is going to be exposed. So now that I got it on there and it's tightened down, I'm going to hit it up with some uh, Mistolium primer with a dry sand. Alright, first coat is on. I laid it on there really thick. Really thick. Uh, all the parts I think that's going to shine through. So, um, yeah, I guess next is to uh, get that guy mounted on there. All right, this guy's in there. Booyah. Shift to installed. I uh, managed to pillage a couple of little pieces, scraps of trims around the door and stuff. A little, little piece here. Gonna tuck it in. But I'm gonna finish that off and, and kind of hit that up. There's a couple like that. It's just a big fucking hole. So you plug that guy up. That one too. So, but yep. Shifters in. Looking good. Um, yeah, buddy. 